Alright, this is actually after the last coat. Um, it came out pretty good. Um, after spraying that last coat of, um, what was it called? That last coat of prime on those pinholes, it's evident that we got to go ahead and, I mean, we have to go ahead and actually put the, um, either grind it down or put the, um, put the putty over the, um, what's the name of the thing called? The pinholes. But anyway, let's just take a, a look at it. You can see how it looks close up. Um, this right here is just where I just got lazy with the with the spray and a pattern and so on and so forth but uh, we'll go ahead and take care of that when um, it's time to start sanding it down so that's no problem um, here's the, the other one just doing a quick walk around and see how it came out I'm going to use a pound of bunning on that uh, this other side here right there and the last side so I pretty much say at this point, for the outside, the major, nah, we're going to have to take with that. I'd probably say the fender is the last major defender and also the top cow where it's cracked up. That's the last thing I'll probably say that needs to be addressed as far as the body work. Everything else is going to be pinholes. This right here can be, just need to be sanded out. But everything else is going to be pinholes and everything else can be dealt with the, um, with the putty so that's it that we're gonna call it a day um, I actually got a little bit more paint left and I might as well just um, clean off maybe I don't know I might do the quarter panel and just spray it just somewhere where I can just know I got to get more build up and more build up and more practice on the on the actual uh, you know panel so I just work on that and I get back with you all Alright, I'll post some uh, pictures also.